volume, volume, fella. Gentlemen, too old. You've had some detailed instructions in the rules meeting. You've had pre fight instructions in the back room. What I'm going to remind you of now is what I expect you in this ring. This will be a clean, professionally fought bout under boxing rules. Okay? Now, both of you, world class championship professionals, and that's how I expect you to act in this ring. You're going to hear me say, stop, because I'm not going to wrestle with you, and I'm not going to grapple with you. You hear me say stop, and what that means is, stop whatever you're doing, give me a clean break. Protect yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. Right here on the belt is good, right here on the belt is good. That said, Mr. McGregor, Mr. Mayweather, yes. gentlemen, let's do this. It's just amusing when you look back at the whole thing. Even after, like I feel the referee, the referee was a weird one now the more I look back at it, especially after Adelaide Board had that, with the Canelo and, and GGG mm. fight. And then it's her, Adelaide and, and Robert are husband and wife. So I'm, I'm like, that's, that, I, I just start kind of getting a little bit, when I start looking back at the fight, it's like, where did he, where did he not give him a instruction when, why was yeah. he just staring at me? It's like he had a vendetta against me straight off the bat. Early, early exchanges in, in the tie up. Instead of just separating, you actually reach around and pull me away. That takes, that takes energy from me. Yeah. I just start getting mad, almost, not paranoid, I just start like analyzing the whole thing a little bit, a little bit deeper. I was like, I, I felt I got the short end of the straw there. And like I put in, I, I did not cut any corners in that build up. None of the boxing community can say I disrespected the, the rule set or anything. I did not. I had, I had opportunities to break the rules. Sometimes I'm ha after the fight, I'm thinking I should have just broke the, I should have just latched onto his neck, or I should have just <laughs> threw a Throwing cake a or kick. something. I, and but then, but if, even if, here's here's how I knew I was up against it. Even if I lift, yeah, the, the the referee was like, even if I lift my leg up, it's a point deduction. I'm like, how the fuck can, how can you say it's <laughs> how a, do you move, skid? No, like, how is it a point deduction? Like. Without even a warning, so they're, they're, deduct, they're telling me they're going to deduct points straight off the bat. And if I do get disqualified for any reason, it was a ten million dollar fine. I'm like ten million fucking dollars. It's just they were, they were making up all these fucking stipulations. Like I wasn't taking it seriously. Like I didn't have a Hall of Fame referee in my camp present at every single spar. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I had, I had a boxing referee in Ireland, a great boxing referee in Ireland, a professional boxing referee, and then Joe Cortez in Vegas every single spar. So I'm like, I put in so much work and so much, I've given so much respect to the rule set and the discipline. I was, like, was kind of expecting it back. And when, even when Robert Board came into the change room to give me the rules, I was looking to engage and he, didn't, he wouldn't even look at me. He was like, Where's your, who's your head coach in charge? And then he was like, the first thing he said, look, I'm not, gonna re I'm not here to wrestle and grapple with you guys. And I was like, and I just kept my mouth quiet because mm -hmm. the fight was 20 minutes away. Out he walks yeah. out, out, of the state, out, out of the thing, and I was like, I just went over to John, and I was like, why is he at the saying, I'm, I'm not here to wrestle and grapple, why, why is he even talking like yeah. that, I'm, at to give, I'm here as a boxer yeah. tonight, I'm at to give him this rule set, so much, so much respect and so much time to study these rules and learn these rules, and straight off the bat, he's giving me that kind of energy, and then he fucking did wrestle and grapple me, anytime he got tied up, he grabbed me by the head and threw me, he threw me halfway across the ring in that ninth round. Look in the ninth round yeah. when, I, when I hit him yeah. with the body shot. Now, Floyd will say it's low, I'll say it's to the body. In reality, it was around to the hip. Right. Floyd's an, an experienced veteran in there. He played up to the game and started dipping over. I went in through a few shots, ended up at his back again. I kept ending up at his back every time. Mm -hmm. And Adelaide Board came from, came from or Robert Board came behind me, hugged me like that, and threw me halfway mm -hmm. across the ring. And I'm, I'm thrown halfway across the ring. I'm trying to explain to the ref, I thought that was the body ref. I was, and I, I didn't want to say, oh, I thought that was the body. I just yeah. said body because I was trying to conserve yeah. me air and my energy. And all the Wolf Floyd's making his way over behind the referee's back. And that's when I threw that little so, slow smack, saying, as if to say, you know what I mean? He's trying to come behind you to hit me. I'm at the hitting him first. All these things start playing in my mind. Then I start watching it back under a different lens and start thinking, I got a fucking, I got the hard end of the stick yeah. there. I mean, I, I deserved a bit more. And when you than went. That. 